saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You just talked about the people that, you know what I'm saying, you grew up around. But we're going to get into one of them right now. I know you already spoke on it too, but it's people that probably never seen those interviews and they want to know. You grew up with Kevin Gates. You was yeah. With him. yeah, we went to high school together. Yeah, so how, did that connection come about through high school? Or is it yeah. Well, it started in high school. Um, I played ball, you know what I'm saying? I kind of was already popular, you know what I'm saying? And um, I, I've been rapping, but a lot of people ain't know I could rap, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't know he rap at all. I really ain't know who he was, but it was getting around school that I had. It's my little partner that I, that I end up being in a group with. We was on a basketball team together, and he called himself being a rapper. And he wasn't that good at the time, you know what I'm saying? And my cousin heard him rap, and he was like, man, hey, one rap, that nigga rock, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, for real? No, he ain't. So they came in the locker room while I was getting dressed for practice. Nigga was like, man, say, rap, rap for A1. So the nigga rap, I heard him. My cousin like, man, spit something. I'm like, man, I ain't fucking with that, you know what I'm saying? He like, man, come on, spit something. He really, really trying to make me shame of the dude, you know what I'm saying? So I spit. <sighs> Everybody like, Phew. so the little dude like, man, how you know how to do that? The, the nigga who rapped first, mm -hmm. but this ended up being my little partner. I ended up being in a group with, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He like, man, how you know how to? I was like, from the time I wrote a rap, I, it been like this. Like I ain't never have to try hard. Like yeah. this, what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't really want to rap though, you know what I'm saying? I oh, want, yeah, you feel me? So bam, it was getting around school that. I might be the rawest rapper at school who don't rap, you know what I'm saying? So bam, Gates come up to me at, 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 at lunch one day, but you, we used to be on this little block that, you know how lunch is and you in school, like, you know, they got mean kids and, you know, territory and shit, and I, you know, I was a cool kid, so we was on that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I had this little block, like it was in the hood or something, like, man, if you wasn't, if you wasn't gang, you wasn't allowed over there, you know what I'm saying? So he come walk up on me, you know what I'm saying? Niggas looking at the boy like, the fuck, you know, like down the finna get bushed, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, nah, he good, you know what I'm saying? Nigga like, what's up? He like, man, I heard you go rap, like rap, rap. He was by himself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of nigga he is, like, you know? Man, I ain't gonna lie, that nigga been like intuitive, like just really curious, you know what I'm saying? And just like about going, see what that's about, you know what I'm saying? That's how he came at me, like, boy, I heard about you, I wanna learn some shit, you know what I'm saying? So he like, man, he like, man, let me hear something. I'm like, boy, fuck no, you know what I'm saying? I didn't rap for him that day. Man, you man, this man bugged me for like three weeks straight to rap. Every day, every day he seen me in the hallway, man, you ain't gonna kick nothing for me? I'm like, man, I don't fucking rap, you tripping, son, you know what I'm saying? I started to get aggravated, you know what I'm saying? But I, I kind of had like Lil one, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, Lil one persistent, you know what I'm saying? Because, I, you know, even though I was playing ball and I was rapping, I was in the streets at the time, you know what I'm saying? I was like 15, like in it, you know what I'm saying? So I was on some other shit. I like freshmen at the time. Freshmen. I'm like a sophomore, he a freshman, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing. You know how you treat the freshmen, you know what I'm saying? So he a freshman. I'm a sophomore, so I get to be upper class now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I played varsity. I played varsity as a freshman. I played all three games every time. Man, my shit was through the roof. You know what I'm saying? You know how that shit be. You know what I'm saying? So, bam, you know, finally I kind of just took a liking to him. I was like, all right, I'm going to let you hear something. You know what I'm saying? Spit something. He like, boy, you gun smoke. He like, man, how you? I'm like, I told him the same thing I told my little partner. I'm like, I just got this shit, you know what I'm saying? He was like, but how? I was like, man, I'm going to tell you what. I was like, everybody down here, we only listening to Cash Money, you know what I'm saying? Whoop the Wine, No Limit, and all the Baton Rouge artists that was out at the time. And probably some Texas, some Pimp, UGK, you know what I'm saying? Scarface, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of shit we was on. Uh, A-Ball, MJG, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Uh... But I was on some other shit. I I had just picked up on Jay Z Reasonable Doubt album and fell in love with that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then, not only was I on that, I was on DMX Dark as Hell as Hat. You know what I'm saying? I was on Jay the Kids. I was on Cameron Come Home to Me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm on that other shit. You know what I'm saying? So even with the rhythm that I had from, you know, learning cash money, like, cause I, I, I was, I, I love Lil Wayne and BG. 
But then when I, when Juve came with 400 degrees, I started to see like he was a different kind of artist. Like that boy was separating himself. You know what I'm saying? But even when I go back now, BG still like, man, I hear BG, I'm like, that bitch, as a, as a, that nigga was 15. See, that what, that what a lot of people don't understand. I understood this shit from a different perspective. Like, Wayne was 13, 14, BG was 15, and them niggas was talking like grown men. That shit remind me of how Lil Fat was, you know what I'm saying? But I had that same mentality at 15 and 16, what they was on, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, bam. Gates, you know, I, I rap for him, you know, and I told him what I was listening to and how I developed. Because it was different. Like, I had, like, you, I kind of rap how the squad was rapping before the squad was rapping like the squad. You know what I'm saying? So when the squad had came about, I was like, oh, I, 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 I was a squad head, too, because they was on the shit I was on. But I ain't pick up that shit from them. I picked it up on my own, but they was on the shit I was on because they was on, you know, I ain't had took that little summer to go fuck with Cameron and Dipset. You know what I'm saying? So he had came back with a different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the city had gravitated to it. So... That's what I was telling Gates, like, man, you got to, like, really study that shit, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, that boy became a student to that shit. See, at first he used to rap, like, story rap. All his raps was just about a story, like, yeah. about what he did with this bitch. And, you know, it was real detailed, like, kind of like Big and Smalls, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, how Big just straight told stories, but I'm like, man, that shit ain't gonna transfer. Like, you gotta learn how to put it in song format so it could, you know what I'm saying? So that's what, I ain't, see, I ain't going to say I taught him how to rap. You know what I'm saying? I just taught him how to become an artist. You know what I'm saying? Because from the time I learned how, I ain't even say learn how to rap. From the time I was rapping, I just had artistry. Like, I was different. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, if you want to be different, like, you're going to have to get this part. So that's what I gave him. You know what I'm saying? I, learned, I taught him how to count balls. He knew how, knew how to rap. I just taught him how to count balls. Yeah. I taught him how to breathe. You know what I'm saying? Just little shit like that. You feel me? And from there, our, our our relationship developed, and you know, of course, they got the story out there about how I took some shorts off his shoulder and get them that. bitches back. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I was in high school and I had that ego, that head. Like I, you know, I ain't gonna say I, I, I know I wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? But I was being myself completely. You know what I'm saying? And when I took his shorts, I wasn't taking this short shorts to lean and press on them to the point where it's like it's beef or I don't like you. It was most shit. Like, it was more so like I was setting the boundaries. Like, all right, you get like, cause you know, you could see a nigga grad like graduating and you know becoming who he's becoming. Yeah. Don't get beside yourself, these man. You know what I'm saying, little you little brother. Yeah. Don't forget you little brother. You know what I'm saying. It's just like a mind thing for me. You feel me? But other people are taking like, oh, you was bullying, bro. You like nah, like. Bro got a lot from me that y'all don't know he got from me. So I just, at the time, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I told y'all I was on some other shit. So I'm like, I like them shorts. I'm going to take them shorts. Yeah. And he ain't going to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's, but him not doing nothing was not because he pussy or it just was, I know, I was just making sure the respect level was where it needed to be at the time. Yeah. You feel me? And I, I probably went about it the wrong way, but that's how, that's who I was at the time. Like, he'll tell you. When I used to be battle rapping niggas, I used to be tapping, pushing them in their chest, you know, finger on the head, like, damn, you the one fight, because I used to fight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what he admired about me. Like, you know, he had natural curly hair. Like, you know, he Puerto Rican or whatever he mixed with. And I, I ain't had that shit. I used to grow my hair and put the kit in my shit to look like pretty Tony, you know what I'm saying? He, I, I'm coming to school like that, that nigga looking at me like, man, I just cut my hair not to look like that. This nigga came to school on purpose like that and trying to beat a nigga up. Yeah. So he just was like, yeah, I fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean, but he, he ain't really getting bullied or nothing. Like, no. That was just the... I ain't gonna say he ain't get... Bu I wouldn't say he got bullied, but I ain't gonna say he ain't get fucked with, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was different. You know, people don't understand a nigga who different, so... Other niggas who, had, who was at my school that was about that bullshit, like, yeah, he had to fight them niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm, he had a fight in the weight room, and I think a nigga hit him with a weight. You know what I'm saying? But he came, he came back and got his remix every time. I mean, look, if they crowded him, that nigga going to catch you by yourself and max you out. Because, you know, he at some point, he started to box and learn how to fight. And they were whooping shit, you know what I'm saying? But they used to have the crowd him. I ain't gonna even care. Why you think he got targeted though? You think it's because he was a light skinned nigga and he was like, oh, this nigga soft. You know how to light skin. It ain't just about being light skinned. Like, 
he he really outgoing, outspoken. Like he okay. he putting himself out there so you know a nigga gonna fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel Man, you. nigga gonna fuck with that. Especially in Baton Rouge, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they don't believe you, like they don't know you from like see, this is what I'm saying. You know a nigga will get a pass just off being affiliated. If a nigga if a nigga know you from being around certain people in the neighborhood, as soon as you come to school, everybody know not to fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying so they be having pussy niggas that be getting respect they don't deserve. You know what I'm saying? All right, they got stupid niggas that'll shoot the club up or shoot the parking lot of the club up. I ain't hitting nothing. Nobody might have hit some innocent bystanders. Everybody know he did it. He don't go to jail, right? Now this nigga is like popular and known and respected. Man, he's a dumb nigga. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, so it'd it be like false pretenses on people because people want to believe what they want to believe. So they ain't want to believe who he who he was putting himself out, to, out there to be, so he had to show some niggas, you know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah.